Who's the stud? Quick update on the horse shelter. We decided we'll add siding, so make it like a three-sided shelter. And we'll probably do that in stages, so we're gonna start with the back. And the first step is to add some studs here. I'm going to add some pilot holes because I'm going to have to screw these in at an angle into the header and footer beams. Whenever I'm drilling pilot holes for an angled screw, I first like to drill just a little bit of a hole and then tilt my screw gun at the angle that I want. Adding the hole first kind of prevents the drill from just sliding down the board. After I've drilled my angled pilot hole, I take the bigger drill bit, take a little bit out of the wood so that when I screw in the screw at the angle, the head of the screw can sit in that little divot that I've drilled out. So this is what I mean. It can now sit in that little hole and hopefully it'll be nice and flush. It's just something I like to do. I don't know if it's original, but if it is, you heard it here first. Now I have studs with angled pilot holes and a little divot for the head of the screw to sink into the stud without splitting the wood. It's starting to get dark, so I gotta get these studs up quick. Cue the time lapse. screw just sits right inside the little divot that we made nice and flush here's another angle with both screws in and you can just see how snug those screw heads are sitting in that little hole we drilled above the pilot hole it's getting dark but we got all the studs put in so tomorrow it will just be a matter of putting up all the siding today I'm gonna get the siding put on the back of our horse shelter because the horse is coming tomorrow. I got our siding yesterday. It's one by six standard exterior decking. This is the same wood that we used on our other two shelters. So I'm hoping this part will just be straightforward, just getting it screwed on to our studs. Next thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna drill two pilot holes at the end of each piece of siding. Because I'm working by myself, I have to hold the piece of siding up and drill it in. Having the screws pre-drilled will just make it a little bit easier for myself. So thanks to some help, all of our screws are now pre-drilled and I won't have to hold the screws as I'm trying to put the siding on. Good job. I'm going to use this clamp here to hold one end up while I'm on the other side holding it and screwing it in. This is my third arm today. Screw 
That's the first one. Man, this is gonna be slow. If only there was a way to condense a whole lot of time. Almost as if you could make time lapse. Out of the rain. It's about 45 minutes later, I'm breaking a sweat. But the back of the horse shelter is complete. All I got left to do today is to put in some screws along the studs, and we're one step closer to the horse. Boss ladies out to come see if the work passes muster. It's so nice. Yeah? Yeah. You happy with it? Yeah. Can you take these off? You don't like these? No. You can see them from the house. <laughs> so the back of the horse shelter is complete. Horse is coming tomorrow. <laughs> nice. Thank you for taking the time to watch this video. We really appreciate it. And we hope you enjoy watching as much as we enjoy learning to homestead and just to be content with what each day brings. We'll see you next time. Thanks.